Have you ever heard about colloids? You might be surprised, but what you see in this picture is a colloidal system. Yes, it is the Amazon River in South America photographed out of an airplane. Let's take a closer look. Our first plans has proven correct. The water is brown. Most people would say the water is dirty, but scientists say the water is full of sediment and colloids. Now let's do an experiment. We take a bucket full of this river water and let it stand for some days. The large sediment particles are pulled down by gravity and do what their name is indicated for, they sediment to the bottom. There is a surprise. After the sedimentation, the water is still brown. Now we use a microscope to see that there are even smaller objects in the water that jiggle around. These little guys are clay minerals and scientists call them colloids. The first question one might ask, why these clay minerals jiggle around? The answer is because they are surrounded by water and the water molecules bombard the surface of the clays, pushing them around like a ship in troubled water. This happens quite often, an unimaginable number of a thousand billion billion times per second. Next question is, why don't the clay minerals stick to each other? The answer is, they carry electric charges on their surfaces and that make them repel each other. These electric charges are very effective in keeping the clay, clay separate. However, when we add a pinch of salt to the water, the repulsion becomes less effective. The salt consists of charged ions that have an opposite charge to the surface charge of the clays. The electric field emanating from the clay surface charge is so to say swallowed by the surrounding salt cloud. The consequence is that in the presence of salt, the clay particles start clumping together. Then they become heavy enough to be pulled down by gravitation and they sediment just as the large particles did at the beginning of our slideshow. Now all rivers end up in the ocean. Seawater is salty and where the river meets the ocean the clay minerals become surrounded by salt. Then exactly what we described happens. The clay minerals clump together and sink down. You might be surprised to see what happens when the river flows into the ocean over many thousand years. The sediments in the river settle down to build up piles. These piles grow with time and begin to form islands. The islands can form a complicated network of channels which we call a river delta. This one is from the Amazon River. But here you can see an even more impressive river delta in Bangladesh, the Ganges Delta. 